Hello everyone, I'm Sean, alright, and this is Everyday Food Reviews. Today, just got a quick video on Dixie Chicken on Smith Down Road. Now I ordered this from Deliveroo, and I've got a box meal. I forget what they call it, I'm just going to look it up. A loaded box with three hot wings, chicken burger, side of beans, portion of fries, and a can of Dr. Pepper. Now I was impressed that Dr. Pepper was uh, available as an option for the drinks. That's something you don't often see. I also ordered a side of barbecue wings because I remember they actually used to be good. But looking at them here on the plate, well, I'll show you. These are the, the crispy wings that have come with this meal. It's, it's called a loaded box, but it's the same as the mini mega meal you get from Chester's or Nabsies, really. The last time I had these barbecue wings from Dixie, they were the crispy wings covered in barbecue sauce. This time, they're these horrible looking dried up remnants. But, these ones look enormous. So, we'll see how they are. The chips have a small amount of red salt on, less than I would like to see. Now that this was a bit of an impromptu video, I hadn't planned on even getting a takeaway today, but I had an email from Deliveroo um, about a special offer. I also had some good recommendations for fried chicken. But like I say, I had this email from Deliveroo, and I thought, we'll try Dixie on Deliveroo, see what they're like compared to how I remember them. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get a thumbnail now. And get the burger in the foil there. Get the I'll get the thumbnail now. These chips are they're they're up there with the worst I've had, if I'm honest. They're up there. Dr. Pepper's lovely. 6.9 grams of sugar per 100 mil. Just thought I'd check, because all the writing on it's in Polish. I think it's Polish anyway. But yeah. Nice bit of Dr. Pepper. Chips. Have you ever had chips? I'd leftover chips and thought, I'll try reheating them in the microwave. They can't be any worse than they are cold. And you put them in the microwave and they, they've been worse than they've been cold. That's what these taste like. I'll try this sorry barbecue wing. I mean, apart from these burnt bits on the edges, I mean, the flavour's not bad. The taste of barbecue. But it's not like it used to be. Now, delivery was 150 Delivery of service charge 50p. And the price of this, 5 99 for everything you see here, apart from these barbecue wings. I think they were 4 50 for a portion 12. That's a decision I regret. Um, the beans, I thought I'd get beans because that's what I normally get from KFC, choice aside, beans, gravy or coleslaw. The, the beans taste sour I've never had sour beans before that's revolting the texture's horrid they taste sour The reason I've not been to Dixie so long is because the last time I did go there, I had the worst food poisoning 
I've ever had. But I thought it's just a coincidence. It can't be that bad, or they wouldn't wouldn't still be open. I thought I've got a voucher. Something cheap. I'll review Dixie Chicken for the channel. So far, I wish I hadn't. Looking at these wings, I'm hoping these might change my mind. Cheers. That's nice. Nice bit of chicken, nice bit of spice, crispy coating. Um, it's not too greasy. Looking at the box, I thought these would be quite greasy, but I think all the grease has come out into the box. Well, you can see they're a size. These wings are a size. Mm. Normally, the, the videos on my own I speed up my chewing because I think no one wants to sit watching me chew food, so I just speed it up, fast forward it um, when I'm editing. When I'm doing the videos with John. I don't do that because normally while one of us is chewing the other one will talk. But I'm going to not speed up some of this. I'm going to find a bit where you can hear the crunch audibly and not speed that up because this is so crunchy and I'm sure you must be able to hear it on, on, the, on the microphone there. Hmm? It's lovely and crispy. That's a top tier chicken shop, chicken wing. But they can't get the chips right. They've made the beans sour. And you look at their own wings compared to their own wings. There's not even consistency in the same order, let alone order to order. I just don't know what's going on. If I could go there next time and just get these, I'd do that. When you pay for individual barbecue wings, 4 50 for 12 of those, it's depressing. Let's see about this burger. I'm, I'm pleased with the Dr. Pepper. That's not downhill at least. You know, normally you get your your Pepsi, your Tango, your, you know, this, they had Dr. Pepper, they had Fanta, they had Rio. I don't often get a Dr. Pepper, but I do like one when I do. Now what's the deal with this burger then? It's unusual go to a chicken shop you get a burger box full of fries and then this chicken box with your chicken and your burger in normally the burger would come in a little burger box and it'd be smaller than this I can tell from the weight of it this is bigger than usual sort of mini mega meal burger like I had from Nabsies the other week but the chips came in this box instead of this box it, it, it was just a bit weird it just threw me off a little bit excuse me oh It's got a brioche bun. Well, that was unexpected. We got some mayo, a bit of brown lettuce, toasted brioche bun, and what looks like a little zinger fillet. It's a bit red. Now, they had the option for a sizzler, which I assume to be their version of a zinger, or a regular fillet. I opted for the regular fillet, but I've got a zinger and a brioche bun. But if it's edible, compared to the chips and the beans, I'm not going to complain at this point. Now, it comes to something when you 
happy even if it's not the right thing as long as it's actually edible. Cheers. It's off putting having it in a brioche bun from Dixie Chicken. I don't know why. That's just weird. Um, what's not weird is the fact that, yeah, I asked for a regular fillet burger and I've got a Zynga burger. That's not weird. That's that's what you'd expect from from somewhere like Dixie Chicken. Um, the the burger's not crispy. Uh, the the bun is soggy on the bottom from the the wet brown lettuce. But the chicken tastes nice, even though it's not crispy, and the the mayo tastes nice. You know, apart from the fact that it's in a brioche bun, it's pretty much exactly what you would expect from a chicken shop, a cheap chicken burger meal from a cheap chicken shop. Um, it's not what you'd hope for. You'd hope for something big and crispy and fresh. This is what you'd expect. Now, this burger was like the wings. It's be a phenomenal little meal as it stands, six quid. I've got a burger I didn't order, three wings which I adore, a can of Dr Pepper, and a box full of food for the bin. So, is it worth the six quid? No. I'd need to look at the menu, I don't know if you can just order. I think these are the hot wings, and I think these are £2.50 or something. For a portion of four, I wouldn't even get a hot wing meal. So all you'll have to do is find somewhere to put the chips. I don't think I've ever had a meal that I've been this pleased and disappointed with at the same time. I can't even recommend going there. But, I can't say I won't go there again. I have got... I've got a few on the list. I think red and blue in Bootle is uh, next up on the list of fried chicken places to try during the uh, current round of restrictions. So I'll give them a go and hopefully they can tick all the boxes rather than just some of them randomly. But yeah, thanks very much for joining us. See you next time. Cheers.